Welcome to Coover TV. And please stand up for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I am Mrs. Burrell and I'm the Magnet Coordinator here at Congress Middle School. I need your information if you want to be in digital video or digital graphics or pre-engineering or pre-medical, please see me today. Thank you. My name is Maritza and today we're going to be interviewing one of Mr. Wilson's graphic design three kids. Who are we here with? Nadea. What do you like about Mr. Wilson's class? I enjoy the atmosphere and the way he teaches. Why did you choose to be in graphic design? Because I like art and I knew it had something to do with art. What was your favorite project that you've done and why? Uh, I enjoyed animation because we get to be creative in our own way and we get to see our work in progress over time and eventually how it can turn out into a cartoon or something. What, what is your favorite software to use? Procreate. Cougars, please give it up for our own hero, Mr. Formica. He was also a hero in the U.S. military. He just came back from his stint in the reserves. But before he did, well, one of the things that he's known here locally is what he did here on the streets in helping a lady in distress. It's a very you know, dangerous situation for everyone, but um, luckily it turned out fine. You know, there's an angel looking out. New at five, the group of strangers who banned Together, to save a woman's life, have reunited Demeter. She stopped her car, they stopped her car, from crashing into others in Boynton Beach earlier this week. WPTV News Channel 5's Josh Navarro live at the Boynton Beach Police Department. That's where a ceremony wrapped up earlier this afternoon. Josh. Well, you know, this video has been really the talk of the town and even around the world for a couple of days now since Boynton Beach Police released it, capturing, uh, capturing those very heroic moments. And finally today, Lori Raybor was able to meet and thank all those brave residents. The several strangers working together to stop a car and rescue Lori Rabior, who was having a medical emergency, honored today at the Boynton Beach Police Department. Perfect strangers just coming together and how, what a beautiful... All right, so good afternoon, uh, class. Um, Mr. Suarez asked me to come in and talk to you guys and share with you some of my, um, let's just say, adventures that I've been on recently. And, uh, you know, I'm a, a teacher here at Congress Middle, and I've had many of you in class, right? And um, so I just returned from an exciting uh, trip with the U.S. Army, and um, I wanted to talk to you guys about that and then maybe any questions you may have. So, uh, first of all, um, our military consists of about five branches, and there's a new one. I'm gonna ask you guys if you know what the, the name of the new one. We have the Army, the Air Force, the Navy, the Marines. Uh, Coast Guard is considered a, another branch. Um, I think it falls under the Department of Transportation, but uh, do you guys know the name of the, the most recent one that just got signed into uh, the Space Force. Space Force, right, right, the Space Force. So uh, I've been on this journey or um, adventure for 26 years. Can you believe that? And uh, what's so cool about it uh, is that you don't have to do it full time. Uh, do you guys know the difference between full time and part time work? Do you know what a full time worker is versus a part time worker? So your, your teachers um, that you have, each of your classes were full-time teachers. Uh, substitute teachers that come in, that would be considered part-time or only 
Uh, they only come in when a teacher may be out. Um, and that's kind of, the, kind of the same thing with our military. We have active duty and we have reserve. And the reserve is uh, kind of like our part-time force. And um, we do a lot of the same training. It's just not as numerous as, as the active duty folks. So uh, I was away recently. And I left towards the end of November 2022, and I just got back last week. I was in uh, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, right outside St. Louis, and I did a lot of uh, really cool training. And um, you see a picture of a really good friend that I made. Uh, the military is great for meeting fascinating people, like-minded individuals that uh, uh, you know, you'll stay friends with for life. Um, so I have friends that I still... Um, you can explain. So some of the training, uh, this is called repelling. Okay, you repel, this is going down a 40 foot uh, wall. Uh, and you see the rope there, and there's all sorts of uh, very challenging, uh, but very doable, safe uh, training exercises. So this is just one of them that I did while I was there in Missouri. And um, yeah, the main thing is not to look down. Don't look down. Who's afraid of heights? Anyone here? Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of was too, but you know, I, I followed their instructions. Don't look down, and uh, you know, everything turned out fine. I'm here with you today, right? So um, anyhow, we, we do have some free time. Uh, you, you'll always get some free time, and I was able to go to a big uh, kind of rec center called the USO. And these, these great Danes, these dogs that you see, these are, um, they're kind of morale welfare dogs, like emotional support animals. And uh, they were a lot of fun. Uh, they're great Danes. And uh, you can see how tall, how tall they are, because uh, I'm, I'm kneeling in that photo. And uh, they're amazing. They would walk around looking for food from people and just visiting and you know they're super uh, friendly and um, they love to be you know pet petted or scratched and you know they're, they're very cool so um, so some of the jobs uh, are more challenging and riskier than others so this is uh, my friend and a group of his uh, platoon in Africa so they are um, kind of on patrol and they're uh, observing some of the bad guys there are do you guys know there's bad guys in the world that don't really like American Americans and America you guys know that mm -hmm. yeah what happened on 9-11 did you guys study that in US history yeah, yeah what happened terrorist. terrorist attack yeah yeah, multiple, right? Multiple terrorist attack that was over uh, 22 years ago. And um, so our armed forces stays vigilant and we are um, keep an eye on the people that don't, that wish us harm. And uh, those are sort of the cold hard facts about it. But um, yeah, they're in Africa. The, the name of the, the country is called Djibouti. It's right around the Horn of Africa, and um, there's sort of a lot of activity there. So, you know, we always want to be thankful for, you know, people in uniform and, you know, the, the kind of the buffer between us civilians, our country, and uh, the bad guys. Uh, next picture. Uh, this is just sort of the... A scenic view of, of Africa and the sunset there. You see some of the vehicles, the Humvees, and um, sort of a, a close up of my friend there. Uh, that's Cameron, I believe his name, and uh, some of the equipment that he wears an eye protection helmet and, and vest. The if you go back to the antennas, the um how heavy if you um, how heavy are those the gear in the back? Is the equipment? Yeah. But like um Rich, can you go back to like the plates? Oh, 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 oh. You said you scared you shot me. That was the, the, the antenna radio antennas? Oh the radio? 
Yeah, I, I mean, I would estimate 15, 20 pounds, maybe. On top maybe of 25 tops. Um, but yeah, there's, have you guys heard of a body armor? No, yeah. I don't think they have. Yeah, so that's, that's those are protective metal plates that kind of start, stop bullets, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, and. Um, so you guys are bulletproof? You guys are bulletproof? Well, certainly not the arms and legs, but you know, the vital organs, the heart and uh, torso. Um, but there are some, uh, you know, like your flanks, you know, these, these are a little less protection in there. So, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, you have to have a strong mind, strong body. And we do a lot of push-ups. You guys know how to do push-ups? Mm -hmm. Push-up sit-ups. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, over, over time you get stronger and uh, yeah, I lost track of how many push-ups I did.